I decided to become a physician probably somewhere around my second or third year of undergrad. So I went into undergrad wide open. I tried all sorts of different studies. I did anthropology and linguistics, and what I kept coming back to was the body and anatomy and physiology and cellular biology, and I just really was fascinated by how things worked and how everything fit together. And I really could see myself going into a career of research, but then I volunteered at Shock Trauma, and I volunteered at um, this Stepping Stones program where I shadowed doctors. And just the feeling you got when you walked into the hospital or when you walked in to see the doctors and um, watching the doctors interact with patients and you know, knowing how smart they are, but also the compassion, the empathy they showed. I was just so, so inspired by them. And I said, you know what, I, that, that's what I want to do. I think the biggest reason I chose rheumatology though was because of the mystery behind it. So a lot of people think of rheumatologists as kind of the detectives and so it's, it's not uncommon that we're the fourth or fifth type of doctor to see a patient and so um, a lot of times we're always trying to connect the dots and go back to the literature and do a literature review and talk to the different subspecialists and trying to figure out a unifying diagnosis. A lot of people will kind of call us the doctor house of of um, the medical world because we're just always have this really interesting really complicated patients and this is what rheumatologists do they start to connect the dots so there's this very rare disease called dermatomyositis when we, we first get to meet um, people we always look at their intake packet first so I'm going through the intake packet and she basically has pain all over and I'm going through her primary care labs and her labs look pretty unremarkable so she's starting to tell this story and the wheels are you know turning and things are clicking and I'm you know getting kind of excited because I think that's where we're going and so as I did the exam I noticed she was really weak the good news is now her muscle tests have totally become normal and so I remember just recently I walked in and she said, well, what is it, what is it? And I said, they're normal. And I think we, we either high-fived or hugged or something. I just remember her mom's smile was so big and she was able to actually go shopping because her pain was so much reduced. And we did a lot, but now she's much better.